Hello STISD parents, we welcome you to the first segment of STISD Connections. My name is Tyler Villarreal and I attend the Science Academy of South Texas. This morning you will meet Mr. J.P. Villarreal from the Transportation Department, who is excited to share inf important information parents and students need to know about their bus ride to school this coming school year. Mr. Villarreal will be answering frequently asked questions about bus schedules, bus stops, and more. So let's meet Mr. Villarreal. Hello, Mr. Villarreal. Thank you for being with us on this segment. I'm sure you get calls all the time with questions about bus schedules and assigned bus stops and so forth. Uh, so we decided to speak with you and try to convey as much information as possible for our parents. So we've come up with a series of questions. Okay. So for our first question, who may access STISD's transportation services? Any student enrolled in South Texas ISD can access uh, STISD transportation mm -hmm. at any of the three counties uh, that we service. Mm -hmm. So where are students picked up and dropped off? Usually they're picked up at the, their home high school or what would be their home high school at the various cities. Uh, but we do have certain locations throughout the valley where we pick up at businesses or, mm -hmm. or parks uh, or other locations like that. And those are easily, uh, that information is easily accessible through the website, the district website, uh, under the bus schedules. Mm -hmm. So if the bus route indicates the bus pickup time is at 7.30 a.m., what time does the bus actually leave that site? 7.30. Get to know. That way, more punctuality of the students and parents. Yeah, we do ask that uh, parent or the st students arrive at least five minutes prior mm -hmm. to the departure time. So, if a student is running late and arrives at the pickup site as the bus is rolling off, is the bus able to stop to allow the student to get on the bus? No, the bus will not stop. Once it's disengaged, its air brakes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and starts moving, the bus will not stop. And I'm sure that's just a big safety concern for all the children. It is definitely a safety concern. So if a student misses his, his or her bus, may the student go to another pickup site to catch the bus? Yes, they may. They may go to one, some, another site down the line, of course. So if at the end of the day a student needs to ride a different bus home, what must a student provide the school to request this change? Usually we'll, ha we'll have either a letter or an email from the parent uh, requesting that that change be made mm -hmm. um, and that information is passed on to the transportation supervisor at each campus mm -hmm. and then we make accommodations uh, for the student. Good to know. So may a student use different routes throughout the week, for example, Monday they go to McAllen and Thursday they need to go to Brownsville, depending on their family situation, where they need to go and whatnot? Yes, they may. In fact, we have that situation happen uh, just about every year. Mm -hmm. And really what it boils down to is communication between the parent and the transportation department. And we can always accommodate that. Awesome. So what behaviors are expected of students while riding the bus? And may a student lose their transportation privileges if these behaviors aren't met? The behavior expectations are the same expectations that a teacher would have in a classroom. So good classroom behavior is, is what is expected on the bus. Um, and yes, a, a student could lose their transportation privileges, though that usually comes down to the school making that mm -hmm. call, not the transportation department. That makes sense. So do all buses have Wi-Fi services, and how may this service be accessed for those buses that do have Wi-Fi? All of our buses do have uh, Wi-Fi, all of our regular route buses. Mm -hmm. We do have a few spare buses, which we use in case of emergencies that do not have Wi-Fi, but uh, just about every time a bus goes up, they will have Wi-Fi. Uh, to access that information, uh, the instructions are located in each and every bus, so username and then the password is also yeah, located on that there. has become a really useful service for all students, yes. so it's really, really good addition y'all okay. made. So if a parent has a concern regarding a busing issue, where may they direct their calls and whom they may contact? Uh, they can contact uh, the transportation supervisor located at each campus or the transportation coordinator and, um, and those names are, are listed on the website under each campus or through the district website under the transportation department. Uh, Elva Villarreal is our transportation coordinator and, and you know she could be the one that could answer any questions if so, necessary. So once a student is dropped off at the bus stop at the end of the day, how much time do parents have to pick up a student from this site? And uh, if the parent fails to you know, pick up a student from the bus stop, what procedures does the district follow? Ideally, we'd like for the parent or someone that's picking up the student to already be at mm -hmm. the drop-off uh, pickup site, uh, but uh, usually that doesn't happen and that's okay. Um, there's a couple of situations. If a bus, if that's the last stop for the bus driver um, on, that, on that route, uh, the bus driver will usually wait with the child uh, uh, until a parent or somebody comes and picks them up. The bus driver does assist by making phone calls uh, to the parents. Um, if, that's, if that is not their last stop, if they have other stops to go, usually what ends up happening is that the student stays on the bus and continues on to the next route and the bus driver will come back 
to that stop at the end of his route. Um, again, it goes back to communication. If we can make contact with the parents um, on when they will be there, we can set up a, a, a time that the child can be picked up. So it seems that uh, student safety is just the utmost priority. Of, it, which it, is it is. It's the utmost great. priority for our department. Absolutely. That's awesome. So if a student is expected at their bus drop-off site at the end of the day, um, where, and they're not there, so where may the parent call? if they just don't see their kid there at the bus stop? Yeah, they can call the, the campus or they can call, uh, the again, the transportation supervisors for that campus. And those names are, are located on, on the, the website. For Olmito, that would be Rolando Garcia. Mm -hmm. For San Benito, that would be Eddie Guerra. Mm -hmm. For here, Mercedes, it's Elba Villarreal. And for Edinburgh, it's Rudy Hernandez. And again, those names and contact information are on the website. So thank you for answering all of our questions. Um, one last thing. If parents have additional questions or comments, who would be the best person to contact? The best person to contact would be Elba Villarreal, who's our transportation coordinator, or they can contact me and I can assist them as well. All right, thank you. Uh, this concludes our transportation segment. We hope that you find this information helpful. Please feel free to print the bus schedule uh, for the school year at the link found at the bottom of this video.